team, welcome to another full body bar class with me. This is what you need for the today's workout. Something to hold on, a light pair of dumbbells, something soft underneath. And when you're ready, let's start with the warm up. So find a stable stance and open your feet more than shoulder width apart. And we're gonna start easy today with just bending and stretching the legs. Push your knees to the side. Keep your shoulders above your hips. Straighten your pelvis, tuck your tailbone under. And when you got that, add the spine movement. Round and stretch. Exhale and inhale. Pull the shoulder blades apart and enjoy the stretch in your upper back muscles. Four more. Three, two. Now keep your legs bent, interlace your fingers, and you're gonna continue with a side bend. And come back to center, switch to the other side. Exhale, and inhale. Shoulders are moving away from your ears. And open your lateral flank here. Let's continue with a circle. So we're gonna move to the left, chin to chest, look to your belly button. Move to the right, and come back to center. Switch to the other side. Keep breathing. Good. Let's shift the weight onto the right leg. So we come down and up. Down and up. Point the left foot. Bring tension in all five toes and then switch to the other side. Good. Squeeze your glutes as you extend your legs. We're gonna go for two to the right. Two to the left. Let's go for single ones. Switch. Nice and wide chest. Let's go for four and again. Four again, but this time add a rotation and your arms. Good. Switch to the other side. Rotate and move your arms as well. Let's go for two to the right. Switch. Massage your intervertebral discs and your organs. One. And one. Good. One. Last one. Now interlace your fingers again. And we continue with the side bend again. To the other side. Keep your neck long. Let's go for two more. And inhale. Come back to center. Exhale. Switch. Let's move on with the circle. Keep pushing your knees to the side. Press your little toe into the floor. Let's switch. Good. Let's continue with open up the hips. So bring your hands to the knees and push your knees to the back or come a little bit lower and push your knees to the side with your elbows. Let's add a pulse. Good. And then roll up and we're gonna go for a side lunge. So one to the right and one to the left. Keep your knees soft. Good, open and close your feet. Think about your posture, roll your shoulders back and down. And when you feel comfortable with that, then add a side bend. Good. Let's go for four more. Ready for the progression? Let's add a rotation. So hold it in the side bend. Look down, look up and center. Switch. Rotate your spine. Last one. Good. And then come back to center. Relax your arms. Relax your legs. Shake it out for a moment. Good team. Hope you feel warmed up. Let's continue with the full body workout. Standing workout, you don't need any equipment. So find a stable stance with your feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna step back with the left. Are you ready team? Let's make it burn. <laughs> Come on, step back into the lunge. First exercise. So make sure your front knee stays above your heel. Stay upright. Straighten your pelvis, so tuck the tailbone under. Okay, I have different level for you. If you want more, add a rotation. So right arm up, left arm down. So twist, try to look up. And breathe. 
Amazing. If you want more, tap down to the floor. Let's go for eight more. Seven. Memorize exercise number one. Lunch with the rotation. Good. Last one. Come back into the lunge, step back. Let's continue with exercise number two. You can stay upright, that's totally fine. Good, make sure to step back in a shoulder width stance. Now level two, tap down and come back to center. Halfway down, halfway up. Keep your spine long. Good. If you want more, tap down to the ground. Tap. Very important here, keep your spine long. Send your hip backwards. This is exercise number two. Are you ready? Let's combine. Exercise one and two, four, three, two. Back to rotation. Now hinge forward. Good, this is level number one, okay? If that's fine for you, perfect. If you need more, then progress. Tap to the floor, but make sure to keep your weight in your right heel and that you keep your front knee above your heel. Don't forget to breathe. Full body workout. Good. Now hold it low and we're gonna stretch and bend the legs. I show you the exercise from this side. So stretch and bend. You don't have to stretch the legs completely. Find your level again here. Focus on keeping your spine long. If you want more, stretch your legs even more and flex your front foot. So pull your toes to your shin. And breathe. Good. A little mobility exercise here. Keep your knee above your heel. Woo. Let's go for eight more. Seven. Six. If it's too much, just come back a little bit higher. Okay. Now, ground and spread your fingers. Let's step back into the bear crawl and step forward. Back and forward. Good. Little core activation. If this is too much for you, come back into an upright position and just step back and step forward. You choose level number one or level number two. Good. Prepare yourself for the combination. Exercise three and four together. Four, three, two. Stretch your legs. Let's go. Back crawl and stretch. Back crawl. In the back crawl position, your knees are hovering just above the floor. Keep the shoulders low and the spine long. Choose your level. We're gonna go for four more rounds. This is level number one, okay? That's totally fine. Two more. Last one. Good. Come all the way up, slowly roll it up. Come back into standing position. Team, let's combine all four exercises so we create a nice choreography. So down, stretch, down and back. Are you ready? with music. Let's go. Rotate. Tap down. Ha. Stretch. Back crawl. Good. From the top. So rotate. And tap. Stretch your legs. Back crawl. Got it. Let's go. Rotate. Tap down. Stretch. Back crawl. Good. Again. Let's twist. Down. Stretch your legs. Back crawl. Half time is over. Give me four more. I show you level number one again. Good. You choose, right? Okay, let's go. And twist. And lower, stretch your legs. Back roll or step back. Got it? Let's go. Two more rounds. Enjoy the stretch. Last one, rotate. Fingers down, stretch. Back roll. All the way up, let's switch to the other side. Start with an easy step to the back. Find a stable stance with your feet shoulder width apart. 
Okay, like this. Because here, too shaky, right? <laughs> Let's add the rotation. So start easy. Roll your left shoulder back. Lift your chest. Look off and to the front. And if you want more, you can tap to the ground. Ha. Good. Right fingertips to the floor. Left fingertips want to reach to the sky. Four. Three. Two. Come back into the lunge. Step back. Ha. Catch your breath. Good. Now, level number one. Just hinge forward a little bit. Arms are long, okay? This is level number one. Let's go. Start in level one. That's fine. If you want more, go down to the floor. Just an option. Okay, team, eight more. Send your hips backwards. Keep your spine long. Your shoulders low. Two more. And then let's go for the combination. Let's go back to the rotation. Go down. Rotation. And down. Okay, this is level number one. Stay here. If this is fine for you. If you need more challenge, then go deeper. Ha. Let's get the heart rate up. Boost your fat metabolism. Last round. Stay low, stretch and bend your legs. Let's go. Stretch and bend. You don't have to stretch your legs completely. Start soft. If this is too much stretch, come all the way up and stretch it here. If you want more, flex the front foot. So pull your left toes to your shin. Now, feel your body, which level you need today. And stretch and bend. Pull your left hip to the back, your right to the front. Seven more. Six. Good. Keep your lower back as long as possible. And then ground your fingers, spread your fingers and step back and forward. Back and forward. Back. Remember level number one, come all the way up and back and forward. Good. Make the workout work for you. Don't stress yourself. Keep moving. That's our aim today. <laughs> and back and forward. When you decide to do level number two, then try to keep push, pushing out of your shoulder blades. Your knees are hovering just above the floor. Three more. Two. Let's combine three and four. Let's stretch. Step back. Stretch your legs. And step back. Don't forget to breathe. I know this sequence is challenging. Keep moving. Good. Amazing. Woo. Let's go for four more. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's prepare yourself for the whole combination. In four. In three. In two. And lunge, step back. Step back. Now, down, stretch. Bear crawl, come all the way up. Lunge, rotate. Hinge forward. Stretch. Step back or bear crawl position. Got it? I show you level number one one more time. Stretch. Step back. I show you level number two. Back crawl position. Come all the way up. Lunge. Tap down. Extend. Back crawl. All the way up. Let's go. Ha. And down. Stretch your hamstrings. Back roll. Keep your shoulders above your wrists. Good. And then stay upright. March it out. Amazing. Woo. Calm your breath. Hope you're ready for the arm workout. 
grab yourself your dumbbells. I'm using light ones, so I'm using a half kilogram. That's totally enough, I promise you. Okay. All right. Ooh. Catch your breath. <sighs> Find the first position, bring your heels together. Your toes are looking to the side. And then grab your dumbbells. We're gonna start with the arms first. So we're gonna open and close. Roll your shoulders back and down. Lift your chest. Close your rib arches. So soften your lower rib towards your hip and keep your core engaged. When you've got that, add your legs. So we step out and in. Knees are pushing back. Good. Tuck your tailbone under here. So you create a long lower back. Okay, here is a little progression. We're gonna lift the arms. Open and lift. Keep your knees soft here. Four more. Three, two. Meet me in the first position. Keep your arms high and we're gonna bend and stretch. Now your elbows are facing off to the sky. Keep your upper arms next to your ears. When you got that, add a little bit. So you lift and lower your heels. Squeeze your glutes, keep your legs long and your knees stretched. Don't look to the floor, look to the front. So make sure you have enough space under your chin, preferably a fist wide. Down, up. Now hold it in the rillery, we pulse it up, up, up. Feel the power in your triceps here. Shoulders are moving away from your ears. Long neck. Four, three, Ooh, two. Let's start from the very beginning. Open your arms a la second and bring them together. So your fingertips are in front of your belly button. When you're ready, add the step to the side. This time with the right foot. Out and in, out and in. Good work. Eight more. Seven, six. Pull your shoulder blades together and into the lower back. Just two more. And then lift your arms up. Let's go. <laughs> Last four here. Four. Three. Meet me in the first position. Keep your arms high. We're gonna bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Make sure your elbows are facing off to the sky, not to the front, not to the side. And when you got that, add the relevé. Push all 10 toes equally into the floor. Don't sickle to the side here, okay? So I show you the relevé from the front. Keep pushing your weight onto your big toe. Okay, bend and stretch, bend and stretch. Here comes the challenge. Stay in the relevé, we're gonna pulse it up. Let's go, pulse. Seven, six, extend your arms upwards. Push your dumbbells to the sky. Good, four, three, two, one. Keep your arms long, release your relevé. Step out into the second belly position. And then we're gonna open the arms a la second. Bend your legs, your palms are facing up. And when you're ready, bend and stretch the right arm. Let's go, bend and stretch. Shoulders low. Bend your legs even more and then add the relevé. Just the right foot. Good. Let's go for eight more. Eight. Seven. Shoulders start to burn. Come on, you're stronger than you think. Four. Three. Two. We're gonna switch to the other side. Start with the arm. Make sure your palms are facing upwards. Keep your upper arms parallel to the floor. Then we're gonna add the heel. Good. So the right arm is holding statically. You can do this. Eight more, eight. Come on, count with me. Seven, six, five. Keep up the good work. You can do this. Just two more. Okay, team, are you ready? Both arms. Here we go, bend and stretch. Find that 90 degree angle in your elbows. Don't go lower. Keep your elbows 
at shoulder height. Add the relevé if you want more. Come on team, the last eight and eight. Keep moving your arms in front of your upper body so you don't open your rib arches here. Stay in the center here. Last two. Keep your arms bent and your heels high. We're gonna bring the forearms together and open. Woo. Good work. Last four, bring your elbows and your dumbbells together. Three, two, hold the forearms together and we're gonna pulse it up. Now, what is important here? Elbows together, come on. Make the shoulders burn. Woo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Release your heels on the floor. Oh, take out your shoulders for a second. And then you're gonna extend the left leg. Push your right knee to the side. Bring your right arm to your thigh. And then we're gonna lift the left arm. We're gonna bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Elbow is in one line with your shoulder. Bend and stretch. Good. Now, keep the shape in your upper body. Good. Side bend here, double time. Let's go, bend, stretch, stretch. Kick it out. Palm is facing down to the ground. Woo. Four, three, two. Keep your arm long. Now turn in into the lunge and we're gonna pulse back and up. So now keep your left arm behind your upper body for activating your triceps, your back muscles. Good. Right leg is bent, left leg is long. Seven more. Six. Crack the nut with your shoulder blades, so pull the shoulder blades together. And the last four, three, two. Now bring both arms together in front of your upper body. And you're gonna lift the right arm up and the left arm to the back. Bring them together and open like a scissor here. Front and open, front and open, hinge forward. Activate your back muscles here. Don't move your spine. Keep your lower back steady and calm, double time. Front and open, front and open. Long and lean arms, elbows slightly bent, shoulders low. Come on, last two. Keep your arms high and we're gonna pulse it for eight, seven, Six. Remember, shoulders are moving away from the ears. Four. Three. Two. Amazing. And then release your arms. Slowly come back to center. Good. Bend both legs. And then we're going to switch over to the other side. So extend your right leg. Bring your left arm to the left thigh. And then extend the right arm to the side. Palm is facing down. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Elbow is in one line with your shoulder. Bend and stretch. Good. Come into the uh, side bend here. <laughs> Good. When you're ready, double time. Let's go. Bend, stretch, and stretch. Find the beat. Work with the rhythm. Four more. Three. Ah, oh, shoulder muscle is burning. Four, three, two. One, keep the arm long and we turn in and we pulse it back in up. Let's go, up, up. Left leg is bent, right leg is long. Try to stick your right heel towards the floor. Good, keep your wrist in one line with your forearm. Seven more, six. Oh my gosh, triceps and mid back muscles are burning. <laughs> and four, three, Bring both arms together in front of your body. And we're gonna open and bring it together. Good, first slowly. Pull the shoulder blades together. Strengthen your back muscles. Let's go for four more slowly here. Think about your posture. Neck is one extension in one extension to the rest of the spine. Let's go for two more. Last one. Ready, let's speed it up and open and close. Left arm is raising up to the sky. The right arm is pulling back. 
three more. Two more. Stay here and we're gonna pulse, let's go. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Four more. Three, two, last one. And slowly relax. Woo, shake it out. Shake out your legs, shake out your arms. Good work. Put your dumbbells to the side, drink some water. Hydrate your body. Good. Amazing. Don't skip the workout. Grab something to hold on. Part number two. <laughs> Team, I hope you're ready to make your legs and glutes burn. Then meet me at the bar. Come on, team. So close your feet together into this six ballet position. We're gonna start to bend and stretch the legs. So first slowly and all the way up. So down for two and up for two. Good. Keep your weight in your heels. Send your hip backwards and keep your spine long. Draw the navel in towards the spine. So down for two and up for two. Squeeze your glutes as you come up. So really push your hip forward. Crack the nut with your butt cheeks. Last one slowly. And then we're gonna speed it up. Bend and stretch for one. Down and up. Down and up. Lift your toes off the floor to really make sure that you have your weight in your heels to reduce the stress in your knees. Let's go for eight more. Eight. Seven. Soften your shoulders. Long, beautiful neck here. Let's go for four, three, two. Stay low, hold it here, and we're gonna pulse it down. And pulse, pulse. If it feels uncomfortable for you, you can slightly open your feet, okay? But make sure to keep your knees above your ankle joints here. Don't hyperextend your lower back. Don't move into the hollow back. Keep your lower back and your upper back in one line. Come on. Bend your legs even more. You can do it. And last, four, three. Hold it low, lift your heels. Up and down, up and down. Make sure not to roll outwards. Keep pushing your heels together. Squeeze your thighs together to activate your inner thighs and your pelvic floor. Good work, eight more, seven. Feel the power in your quad, in your front thigh muscles and in your calf muscles. Pull your chest forward, roll your shoulders back and down and then keep your heels in the air and we're gonna pulse it down. Woo. Oh yes, starts to burn. <laughs> That's why we're here, right? <laughs> Go down. Down, come on, challenge yourself. And don't forget to breathe. Positive energy in, negative energy out. Amazing, keep up the good work. Come on, let's go for four more. Three, now listen. We're gonna tap back and to the side with the outer foot. So first slowly, and to the side. Tap backwards, and to the side, good. If it's too much, ground the heel. If you want more, then lift your heel. Double time. Back, side, back, side. Little cardio challenge here. To get the heart rate up. To train our cardiovascular system. Strengthen the heart here. Back, side, long leg. The last four, three, Two, hold the leg at the back and we're gonna pulse it down into the lunge. Now shift your weight equally between both legs. And if it's too much, just ground your front heel. That's totally fine. Let's pulse it down. The back knee wants to come down. Okay, listen team. Now, we're gonna go for three pulses and then we're gonna lift the back leg up Bend at a 90 degree angle, okay? I'll show you the movement from the side. Here we go, three pulses, count with me. Three, two, lift the back leg up, good. Three, two,
two. One, when you lift the leg, please don't move your lower back. Keep your lower back steady and calm. And keep your hip close. Don't do this, okay? So three, two, one, and lift, squeeze that boots. The sole of the foot is raising up to the sky. Okay, team. Woo. We can do eight more. Let's go. Eight. Relax your shoulders. Seven. Strong core. And again, relax your shoulders. Only four more. Four. Good. Look, the knee is above the heel. Just two more. And then we're gonna switch. So we have three pulses with the leg in the air. Here we go, three pulses. Three, two, step back into the lunge. Again, three, two, one, step back. Woo. Work for that glutes. Four more rounds here, four. And three. Oh. Keep your leg bent at a 90 degree angle. Last one. Good. And then stay low in the lunge position and we're gonna lift the upper body and lower the upper body. Ready, double time for one. So lift and lower, lift and lower. Whew. Standing leg is burning as well. Let's go for eight, seven, six, Four. Next, we're gonna stay upright and we're gonna go back into the taps. So tap back into the side, back and side, back and side, good. Now it's time for cardio. You have two options. This is option number one, low impact. If you need more to get your heart rate up, then you have the possibility to jump. When you decide to jump, jump quietly and without any noise. <laughs> So protect your joints here. Okay, team, choose your level. And then let's go back and side. We're gonna go for eight more. Seven, six, knees to the side. Four, three, two. Come back with me into the low impact level. So tap back into the side. Okay. Let's go for a little sideline sequence in which we're gonna activate the abductors and the lateral glutes. So keep your leg at the side and we're gonna lift and lower, up and down. Now keep your standing leg bent, stay upright, don't tilt to the bar, okay? Stay here, stay strong in your core muscles. Think about your posture. Roll your shoulders back and down. Lift your chest. Now make sure to work parallel. So your big toe wants to come down and the heel wants to come up. Let's go for three pulses. Three, two, one, and relax. So how not to do it? Uh -uh. Stay here parallel. Three, two, one, and relax. So let's add some work for our obliques. So as you lower, we're gonna go for side bend. Three, two, one, side bend. So feel the power in your obliques when you come up. Three, two, one. Woo, let's go for the last four. Three, standing like a bend. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Last one, three, two, one, march it out, relax your standing leg. Oh, shake it out, good work. So grab your chair or whatever you have to stabilize yourself. Switch to the other side. So meet me in the sixth belly position, close your feet together. We're gonna bend and stretch the legs for two. And down, down, up, up. Remember all the cueings I gave you, keep your weight in your heels. Squeeze the thighs together. So you have more activation in your inner thighs. Let's go for three more. 
So keep your neck in one extension to the rest of the spine. And when you feel comfortable, go ahead and speed it up. Back and up. Consciously squeeze your glutes as you extend your legs. Don't forget to breathe. Good, the last three, two, one. Stay low and we're gonna pulse. Let's go, down, down, down. <laughs> Bend your legs even more. Relax your shoulders. Remember not to hyperextend your spine. And last, four, three, lift and lower your heels. Let's go up and down, up and down. Squeeze your heels together. Or when you're here, keep your knees above your ankle joints. Let's go for eight more. Eight, seven, six. Look diagonally down on the floor. Shoulders away from your ears. Keep your heels in the air. We're gonna pulse it down. Let's go. Down, down. Ooh. Try to find your balance here. Grab your chair or whatever you have to stabilize yourself. Or maybe challenge yourself to challenge your deep muscles even more. Activate your core here. The last eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna tap back and to the side with the outer foot. Let's go. Out and to the side. Start slowly. See if you wanna keep your heel in the air or if you wanna ground your heel. Both is fine. Choose your level. Capo. Four. Three. Two. Let's get some cardio work in here. Double time. Let's go. Back and side. Back and side. <laughs> back, side, back, side. Keep going, hinge forward. Standing like a span, the last eight. Seven, six, four more. Three, two. Meet me in the lunge position, hold it here and we're gonna pulse down. Down, I show you the movement from the side. Now, start to shift your weight equally between both legs. Feel the power in your front quad and of course in your glutes. Oh my gosh, it's burning. Front knee is above your heel. How not to do it? Uh-uh. So shift your weight backwards. Six. Five. The last four. And then we're gonna go for three pulses and a back leg lift with your leg bent at a 90 degree angle. Here we go, count with me. Three. Two, one, and lift it up. Three, two, one, good. Ah, and breathe. Oh, I know the standing leg is burning as well. <laughs> now remember, not to move your spine, not to open your hips, so how not to do it? No. <laughs> so both pelvic bones are facing towards the chair. Okay, half time is over. Let's go for eight more. Eight. Woo, lift it up. Let's go to seven. Keep your core strong. And lift. Crack the nut with your butt cheeks. Come on, team. Four more. Just three. Close your rib arches. Soften your lower rib towards the hip. Okay. So we will change. So keep your leg in the air. We're gonna pulse for three here. Three, two, one, lunge position. Three, two, team, come on, it's a lunge. So bend your legs deeply. Three, two, one, four more to go. Enjoy the burn. Come on, heart rate is going up. You're alive. Heart is beating. Last one. You're gonna lift and lower the upper body. Lift and lower. Woo! Glute is burning here. Oh. <laughs> and lift and lower. Lift and lower. Bend both legs. 
plus eight, eight, seven. Nice and wide chest. Last four, and then we're gonna stay upright and we're gonna go back to the taps. In four, in three, in two, step back into the side, back, side. Good, you already know this exercise. So you choose, this is level one, low impact. Maybe your heart rate is already going crazy, then stay here. If you need more, jump with me. Back and open, back and open. Find your level. Back and side. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Seven, six, five. Prepare yourself for the last series. Four, three, come back into the tap, slow impact, back, side, back, side. Now we're gonna lift and lower the leg to the side in four, in three, two. Keep the leg at the side, we're gonna lift and lower, up and down, up. So you can't see my heel here, right? So keep your leg parallel. So how not to do it? No, stay here. Good, both kneecaps are facing forward. Three pulses, three, two, and lower with control. Don't drop like this. <laughs> Hold, keep the tension in your leg. Work slowly. Ah. Let's add the upper body. Three, two, side bend to the chair. Three, two, side bend to the chair. So we add some oblique work here. Ah. Legs are tight, I know. Come on, last four. Woo. Three, standing like a stand. Ha. Two, a little bit higher. Last one, three, two, one, relax, march it out. Ah, oh, good work, team. Now, put your chair to the side, maybe drink some water again, and then meet me on the mat for the last part for our core again and our abdominal muscles. We're gonna go for some push-ups today. So when you're ready, Meet me on all fours with your knees under your hips and your wrists under your shoulders here for a second. Before we start, push yourself out of your shoulder blades and then walk forward with your hands and bring your upper body in one line with your thighs. Now keep your pelvis steady and calm and we're gonna go for some shoulder taps. So spread your fingers. Push your fingertips into the floor. And the most important thing is here to keep your pelvis steady and calm. Double time, let's go. Tap, tap, tap. And breathe, drop the navel in towards your spine. If it's too fast for you, slow it down. Good. Last, four, three. Let's go down into a push-up for two. So we bend the arms for two and stretch for two. Let's go, one, two. Up for two. So keep your elbows close to your upper body to activate your triceps. Don't move into the hollow back. Don't round your spine. Make yourself firm as a board. Let's go for four more. Let's go for three. Oh, burning. Two. And the last one. Let's go for a little break. Good work. Shake out your wrists. Woo. Let's combine both exercises. So the shoulder taps and the push-ups. So meet me on all fours again. Walk forward and bring up body and thighs in one line. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna go for the shoulder taps. We're gonna go for four. Let's go. Four, three, two, push-up. Down for two. One. Two, and up for two. Shoulder tap for four, four, three, two. Push up, elbows in, long spine. Again, shoulder, shoulder. 
Breathe in as you bend your arms. Breathe out as you stretch. Good, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Press your fingertips into the floor. Last one. Only go as low as you can. Keep your spine long. Woo, and relax. Shake it out. Good work. Now meet me in a sitting position. And then grab the back of your knees. Allow yourself to sink into your extended arms. And roll down vertebra by vertebra. Come onto your back. Okay, fingertips behind your ears. Let's go for some easy crunches. So we're gonna up and down. Exhale and inhale. Elbows nice and wide. Belly button in and up. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you lower. So lift your head and your shoulder blades off the floor. Okay, four more. Three. Now drop your head on the floor and extend your legs alternately. So one with the right, one with the left. Now team, super important. Keep your lower spine on the floor. Imprint your spine and core is active. If you need more, then bring your legs up. Bend at a 90 degree angle. Meet me in the tabletop position. Okay, we bring it together. The single leg stretch and the crunch. So we're gonna go down and up. Down and crunch. Remember, you can keep going here in level number one. Crunch, down, crunch. So drop your head as you extend your leg. Find your level, one or two. Keep fighting. The last eight, seven. Bring your feet back onto the floor. Let's go for a diagonal crunch here for our obliques. So we're gonna twist from left to right. Okay team, this is level number one. If you want more, then lift your legs into the tabletop position. Don't stress yourself. Let's go up and down. Last four, three, two. Drop your head on the floor. We're gonna tap down and up, down and up. Good. Make sure to keep your lower back on the floor again. Don't only drop your lower leg like this. Keep your leg bent at a 90 degree angle and tap forward on the ground. Okay, if you want more, bring both exercises together. So we're gonna crunch and tap down. If it's too much, just tap down and skip the crunch movement. Let's go for the last eight, seven. Feel the power and the burn in your obliques. Last four, three, two, and drop your head on the floor. Relax your legs. Team, amazing, you're done with the workout. Let's finish the class with a wonderful full body stretch. For the stretching, meet me at the back and extend your legs up to the sky. Now maybe rest here for a second. If you want more, lift your hip, place your hands at the lower back and come up here. <laughs> If you want even more, then drop your legs. Maybe you want to bring your toes on the ground. Maybe you want to bend your legs and drop your knees on the floor next to your ears. Choose your level 
and don't forget to breathe. Breathe deeply into your belly. Fill your lungs with oxygen. Fully inhale and fully exhale. When your knees are on the ground, slowly extend your legs. Bring your hands back onto your lower back and really slowly start to roll down vertebra by vertebra. Take your time. Good. And when your, back, and when your pelvis is back on the floor, grab the back of your knees and slowly come back on, into a sitting position. Extend your legs and then bend the right leg. I show you the movement from the front so you can see me what is happening. So roll out your calf muscle and then you're gonna slightly lean backwards. So first start with the hands on the floor. See if you can already feel a stretch in your quad muscle, in your front thigh muscle. If you need more, then lower onto your forearms. If you still need more, you have the possibility to come down on your back. Keep breathing. Keep your left knee here on the floor. So don't do this. Allow your knee to become heavy. Squeeze your glutes to intensify the stretch for your front thigh. Slowly come back up, so move to the side of your extended leg and come all the way up. Now switch, you turn the left leg out here, good, and then you extend your spine, sweep your arm, arms upwards over the side and you're gonna hinge forward with the long spine. So grab what you can grab here, your shin, your ankle or your toes. And as you inhale, you push your chest forward, roll your shoulders back and down. And as you exhale, sink down to the ground. One more breath here. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, your rib arches wanna touch the front thigh and then drop and slowly roll up. Now keep the left leg in front of you and bring the right on top of the left. So bring your heel onto the knee and drop your knee onto the lower heel here. So make sure to keep your lower legs parallel to your mat. So don't cross your legs like this. Keep your legs, your lower legs parallel to your mat here. This is a wonderful but super intense hip opener. So take your time, inhale, lengthen, come onto your sitting bones. The crown of the head is pulling you up and with the exhalation, you just release the tension. And from time to time, the knee will drop down to your ankle, to your heel here. If your lower legs are already touching, you have the possibility to hinge forward. Good. One more breath here. And with the exhalation, slowly release and bring the right sole of the foot back onto the floor. Bring the left heel towards the butt cheek and try to ground both butt cheeks equally onto the floor. And then you lift your diagonal arm, it is the left one, and then you twist so you bring your left arm against the right thigh. 
bring your right fingertips behind you and enjoy the twist here for your spine, the massage for your organs, and the stretch for your lateral thigh muscles and your lateral glutes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, look back. Last one here. Push the arm against the thigh to rotate even more. And then you slowly come back to center. Good. Extend both legs forward. Maybe shake it out for a second. And then we're going to switch over to the other side. So bend the right leg. Roll the calf muscle outwards. So re you reduce the stress and the pressure here in your knee. Good. And then you start to lean back. First, start on your hands. See if you want more, then lower down onto your forearms or maybe lay down completely on your back. <laughs> Snuggle, buddy. <laughs> Good. When you're here with me on your forearms, make sure your body is not collapsing towards the floor like this. Keep pushing out of your shoulders and lift your chest high. Enjoy the stretch here for your right quad muscle. Good. Then when you release, slowly come onto your side of the extended leg. Come all the way up and then you switch. Instead of turning in, you turn the leg out, bring the sole of the foot to the inner thigh of your left leg, sweep the arms upwards, inhale, and exhale, hinge forward with a long spine. Inhale, push your chest forward, and exhale, drop down. Your rib arches wanna touch your front thigh. <laughs> is relaxing with us as well. <laughs> Good. Connect the movement with the breath. So inhale, shoulders back and down, long spine, and exhale. Try to intensify the stretch here. Last one. And then as you exhale, release and roll back up vertebra by vertebra. Good. Now place your left lower leg on the right lower leg with your heel on the knee and start to drop your knee towards your heel here. Make sure the lower legs are parallel so you don't pull your heels and your lower legs towards your body. Good. There's always a side that works better, that's totally normal. then see if you want more and slowly hinge forward bring your weight onto your legs intense hip opener don't forget to breathe last one inhale and exhale slowly roll up and bring your left foot on the floor bring your right heel towards your butt cheek Try to ground, especially the left butt cheek. Then lift your diagonal arm, it's the right arm, and place it against the left thigh. Use the arm here to press against the right thigh to twist even more. Left fingertips are behind you on the floor. Make sure to keep your weight in the center. Don't bring too much weight onto your back hand. Inhale, lift it up, extend the spine. Exhale, look back. And then you slowly rotate back to center. Extend both legs forward. Maybe give your legs a little shake here. And then find a comfortable sitting position with your legs crossed. Good. 
and then sweep the arms upwards. And then you bend the left arm and press the elbow down with the right hand. Now make sure the elbow is facing up to the sky and enjoy the length here from the elbow to your shoulder joint. Push the arm backwards with the hat. Make sure you have enough space under your chin. Enjoy the stretch in your triceps. And the next one, you inhale, you extend both arms, arch to the sky, and exhale, you switch to the other side. Drop your shoulders. Keep your neck long and soft. Use your head to push your right arm back. Last one, inhale. And exhale, intensify the stretch. And then you're gonna lift both arms, inhale. Bring both hands together. Be thankful for yourself. And I'm thankful for you. <laughs> Thank you so much for moving with me. See you in the next one.